The oldest surviving church in Youngstown is facing the greatest challenge of its long life. And now, as First News reporter Amanda Smith explains, the Diocese of Youngstown is calling for someone to step in and save it. The Old Welsh Congregational Church is the oldest church in Youngstown. It was first built in 1861, but that long life could soon come to an end. The Old Welsh Church has been abandoned, but unused for the better part of 18, 20 years. About two years ago, the diocese bought the church, but it has no plans to stay the permanent owner. The diocese, of course, needs to continue maintaining its own properties, and as this building deteriorates, it becomes a hazard, and it is really a hazard now. But at the same time, no one wants to see the building torn down without at least trying to do something to save it. So the diocese says anyone with a plan can have the church and be welcome. We'd be very willing to give them the church and even help in relocating it. But the building is in terrible shape. Restoration work started a decade ago was halted by a fire. That destroyed much of what had been done. Still, community groups are working to spare what's left. They've talked to me about uh, trying to relocate that church, perhaps down to the uh, amphitheater park. And while it technically can be done, it's not going to be cheap. I want to include that in the expense of the project, uh, and I don't even really know what the expense of moving a building from up here to down there would be. All of those difficulties could mean the end of the oldest church in the city. It's on our list of things we could potentially do, but I'll tell you, it's, it's not at the top of the list of things that we would like to include on the uh, amphitheater and park. Sometimes it's just not possible, sometimes it's not realistic, and sometimes it's not feasible. In Youngstown, Amanda Smith, WKBN 27 First News.